Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Will and this is the Wimeo YouTube channel. Quick sales pitch as always. Scroll down below, hit that subscribe button. Totally free to subscribe. It really helps me out. Hit that like button, share, comment, all that fun stuff too. I always appreciate everything. So today, back on the S650 Mustang here. Um, gonna be fixing this issue right there. Sorry, I'm gonna turn you around, but I have a base model um, S650 uh, GT non-active exhaust. So on the non-active Mustangs, with the non-active exhaust Mustangs, you only get the uh, dual tip. So we're gonna be doing a muffler delete today. Like I just mentioned, my uh, Mustang has the uh, non-active exhaust. So you get the uh, dual tips over here and you know obviously with the active exhaust you get the quad tips um, I was going to just do bigger uh, dual tips but after you know some time thinking about it I really have decided I like the whole quad tip setup and not only that um, I honestly just don't really like the way these like bass mufflers sound um, I've heard like a lot of videos on YouTube of um, the active exhaust with like an H pipe and I think that really does sound pretty good but I've heard H pipes with the bass mufflers and for some reason it's just not doing it for me so I figured let's go ahead do a muffler delete it's pretty cheap um, and it's pretty easy to do so I'm gonna go with uh, that route first and again it's really the cheapest option when you want to go ahead and convert to the quad tips as well. And in this box right here, I have the muffler delete that I picked up. This was super inexpensive. I actually picked this up off of uh, eBay. So I think it was like sub 300 bucks if I remember correctly. It's from uh, this guy right here. I'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, link in the description. But as you can see, it comes with uh, four tips over here, and these are four inch um, stainless steel tips. Um, I'm not a big fan of the stainless uh, tips either, so I'm gonna be painting these black. I got some um, high heat um, resistant exhaust paint, but yeah, I think they're pretty cool. They're the slant tip um, tips. So yeah, I think that's cool. So like I said, just gonna go ahead and throw this on there it's gonna get the whole you know aesthetics I'm going for with the quad tips I do have um, other exhaust um, plans that's gonna you know come in the future but this is gonna be a uh, temporary solution for now and who knows it might sound really great and we run it for a little bit longer but I do plan on um, testing out a um, exhaust from a company that i've worked with in the past so that should be coming pretty soon but i do plan on actually doing a full titanium exhaust on this car and that's going to be coming in the future as well just have to wait for the uh, fabricator um his availability so for the meantime like i said we're going to be throwing this on the car so i'm going to go ahead and unpack this then i have to actually modify the rear valence or diffuser whatever you want to call it back here i got to do a little bit of trimming so we can fit the quad tip. So I'm gonna jack this up into the air, unpackage this, and we'll get going with this modification. Let's do it. All right, so I got the four uh, tips over here, just all ready to go to get painted. I'm gonna be using VHT flame proof. This is a ceramic coating it says here, but I've used this before on some exhaust tips and it turned out pretty good. So gonna go and do a few coats on these I'm thinking three or four coats will um, get these done so while I'm doing this and drying in between coats um, like I mentioned before I have templates over here and like I said those are uh, those that come those uh, tips are gonna be used in the future there but I got a template from online and I'm not really too sure how it lines up but I think it goes like right there yeah as you can see and then this lines up here against the diffuser and then as you can see it gives you a nice outline as to where you need to cut to um you know fit the aquatic the quad tips so yeah gonna go ahead and do that in the meantime so yeah i'm clearly running out of daylight now so i apologize for uh 
the shitty quality you're uh, gonna get in this video but if you see it switch to uh the next day that's what happened so yeah i'm gonna shut the fuck up now and get going with this all right so i got the tips over here drying did uh, i think this is the fourth coat on there so as soon as these are dry if there's any areas i need to touch up i'll do that and then those should be good to go and over here i just got the uh car up here on the on the ramps and i went ahead and taped up the stencil on both sides over here stencil template whatever you want to call it got a little uh, rotary tool I'm using the dremel with just your standard cutting disc so this should be more than adequate to go ahead and trim up this valence so i'm going to do the rough cut here and then i'm sure it's going to be pretty jagged so i'll go ahead and i'll use a sanding block or a file whatever i need to actually finish out the smooth edges so i'm going to go ahead get that done and i'll show you guys the uh, final outcome all right youtube and like i said we totally ran out of daylight here but got the uh valence trimmed and cut over here driver's side it is uh far from perfect but it'll do um again this is just temporary setup until i can find like a badass carbon fiber valence that comes out i could spend like the 500 and get the factory one but i'd rather spend like 1200 1500 and get like a badass carbon diffuser so i'm sure one of those will pop up eventually but for for now this side this side looks really good <laughs> i ain't even gonna lie to you though on, on the passenger side yeah i I fucking butchered this side you could see the disc got away from me and it just kind of cut it at an angle there but you know that's only you know me nitpicking it but like I said this is just a temporary setup it'll do so now we got to go ahead and cut these dang old mufflers off so I think we're gonna need to cut it for about right there so I'm gonna go get the uh reciprocating saw all set up and you start cutting all right guys so obviously it's the next day here we did go ahead and cut the mufflers off as you can see back there so both mufflers have been cut off they're sat over here right now pretty easy to cut off just with like the reciprocating saw that uh, you can also see right here now my cuts a little bit more visible during the day but unfortunately the muffler delete that i did per purchase um does not fit on the S650, it was a risk. Um, I knew it wasn't, you know, specifically for an S650. I had seen that other people were able to um, retrofit like axle backs from like the prior generation, but unfortunately, this one just doesn't fit. So I loaded it up into the trunk back here, and we're just gonna go ahead and bring it to the muffler shop and have them weld it on. So I guess I spent like 200 bucks on like, you know, a muffler delete where. I could have just probably spent $200 and the, you know, exhaust shop could have just done it for me. So maybe a little bit of waste of money, but the tips do look pretty cool. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll take our losses and our wins. So I'm going to go ahead, get to the muffler shop now and we can go ahead and get these um, installed. But how about we go ahead and do a cold start with a axle dump? Just got back from the exhaust shop i didn't film anything while we were over there but went ahead we finally got the exhaust on there thank goodness looks pretty rad i can't lie no at first i wasn't really like all that concerned with wanting to go with the quad tips but after you know seeing a bunch of other mustangs with the quad tips versus the the dual exhaust yeah the the quad tips is uh definitely the way to go and i'll go ahead and i'll give you a little start here real quick go 
ahead and grab the keys. Where the hell they are? There they are. So, go ahead and start it up for you. Oh yeah, she sounds good. I'm really happy with it. And for the price, honestly, can't really beat it. So yeah, a lot of people are going with the uh, H pipes and X pipes. I'm pretty happy with the uh, the muffler delete for now, and maybe later on if I want it a little bit louder, I'll go ahead and do an H pipe, or I'll just leave the H pipe on there and do some headers. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I can't lie. Sweet. So that's gonna do it for this one, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what you think about the S650 so far. We dive in back on to the TRX pretty soon. I got some uh, videos coming out for that. So my name is Will, this is the Women YouTube channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.